Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Medieval Historical Battle. This is Bosworth Field. I have the Yorkist army. There are special victory conditions. I lose if I'm at 35 and 25 more than tutors, uh, commanded by Doily, or I just lose if I reach 45. Or I lose if my CNC, Richard, is killed. Same goes for him. The Earl of Northumberland is refusing to move. Interesting. He is only likely to join the battle if victory is close. Lovely. So, is this Northumberland? Yes, I can't move any of these units. And then the Stanleys are off somewhere watching, I guess, and they'll join whoever is winning. Here's Richard. Uh, you know. We're going to try to not get him super killed. Move those guns towards the action. And there is Henry Tudor. All right. What do we got? Billmen and longbowmen. French halberdiers. French crossbowmen and longbowmen. Welshmen. Okay. And we've got a... Somewhat tougher looking army, I think. So, with the guns, I will start three, four, five, six. Okay, we can move forward a bit for starters and then work on trying to outflank with our greater numbers. Do we have anything for that rough ground? Not really, so we're going to have to shoot into it with Billmen and Longbowmen. It's alright. Okay, so we'll try to spread out. He'll try to spread out and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Simple enough. Next turn. Alright, standing his ground. A time limit is there? No. Okay. Next turn. On the one hand, I don't know if long range archery is worth it with the half units. On the other hand, oh, we're not going to get five rounds of shooting in any way. Is Henry could make a dash for him, but I don't think we have the right troops for that really. Next turn. Alright, he's coming forward, so we'll have to actually respond.
move and start straightening out. And use the guns to maneuver around and over. Okay. Uh, we could move up here, but that would put us at bow shot, more or less. I'm not sure if I'm interested. Yeah, that's fine. Who cares? Okay, do we bother shooting back? I mean, it's kind of pointless. Two to eight. I mean, I guess. Screw it. Why not? It's a waste, but again, I don't think it's likely that we're going to be doing a whole lot of shooting here. I think it's going to be a largely melee slugfest. can just hang out and yeah leave it there next turn should be really getting started now yep long-range hang on fire, so generally not too effective. Gets enough if you bring enough volume of fire. What is it we can't lose? Some percent. Oh, here we go. Okay, we can't lose 45%, just period. That's fine. Uh, why don't we go here and charge? Lovely Saros. Let's push on these Welsh archers. Half arc, but I want to try. Alt firm is worth a shot. Okay, let's go run past. I mean, sure, whatever. Okay, we could charge, but yeah, I think time is on our side given that. We have the more extended line, so we'll hold off on that. Richard really shouldn't get involved in the battle at all. So you'll just chill, I don't know, back here. Powerful unit and all that, but it's just better not to get involved. Okay, so charge and set up a drop. Okay, then. Fire through the gap. Move up. Loose arrows. Prepare for contact. Good. These will hang back. This 
unit's going to suffer, but as long as they maintain contact for a turn, they should be okay. Good. Alright, let's see if he wants to charge or just stand and die. Because if I turn and shoot, then he can charge us here, and I'm not really interested in that. In fact, what is the melee situation here? French halberdiers. Heavy weapon. It should be fine. They're not spearmen. They won't have our swordsman POA. The spearmen will have our swordsman POA, so we'll actually only have 75 melee POA against them, so it's going to be a bit difficult. Well, we'll see how it shakes out. Next turn. Good. Be prepared to cover this unit if it gets slammed again. Yeah, that works. Good. I'm gonna have to hold back, and yeah, none of you can do anything. Okay. 
Next turn. Good. Very good. That's one of his best units. Hopefully we'll just fall back here. Even with the frag, that's okay. Oh. that. Ooh. Oh, well that works. Okay, so here, you charge this unit and you should be able to maybe, I was going to say, halt in front of those Lancers. Cool. All right, plan B. Good. Let's take a risk and fall back. This is non-open terrain now, so we should be able to hold out against cavalry. And actually, maybe I shouldn't have bothered. Oh well. Nice double drop. Then you can uh, let's resolve these first. Okay, set up an auto drop on the men at arms. Interesting. Our right, troop quality is somewhat disheartened. I did not even notice that. Well, do what you can. Guess we have to accept that this is going to happen and keep this unit here. Because we're going to need them to plug this gap as best they can. Yeah, you're all completely useless. Thank you, thank you. All right. Next turn.
So the reason for the uh, somewhat greater incidence of cohesion drop amongst my men is not just because everyone always feel like feels like they're losing all the time in this game. Uh, it's because I actually have less quality, I think, by eight compared to his man across the board, so it's slight, but it's not nothing. It does add up. He could flank me now, which would be bad, but we could flank him in turn if that happened. Might as well charge now before this break forces incredibly bad things. Oh, okay. Lucky. No. We'll get auto dropped in turn then. Oh yeah, so you can see quality, it's plus 42 in our superior units as opposed to plus 50 for his, etc. So it's across the board, 8 less. There's an artillery unit there. No, that's Richard, and he's going to keep chilling. Uh, no need to get involved, I think. Ugh. We, might, we might end up getting him on the left flank. Let's start moving that way considering this is about to happen. Ooh. Next turn. Range two firing, so I don't really care. Okay, we knew that was coming. If they don't break... <laughs> right... My friends. That's right, join the winning side. 
Norfolk coming too? Huh? Yeah. Or not Norfolk, Northumberland. Shows what I know. I apologize, everyone who cares. Oh. It could be more than five. Okay, so. What is our victory condition? We can't lose 45%. I think we're going to be able to avoid that at least. Let's get our border longbowmen into the difficult terrain while we shift the heavier foot over into the open. Okay. However, back in the real world, uh, they can't charge. Take care of that. Threaten those French longbowmen. Hold your ground. Or just don't, I guess that's good too. Prepare to step in if needed. Take care of those raw longbows. Come from behind. Prepare to do the same. Hmm. Light them up. You can move here. Reduced AP anyway. In fact, this will suck for you, but okay, good. Take care of this light already. Pile in. Might even be safer to fall back. I don't want to risk a bad disrupt, though. I mean, here. Shoot some arrows, yay! And watch everyone run away. It might be time to go. Okay, so this is all horrible, but we've got all of our friends. On route. I mean, it's not very high quality units, but that's okay, they're fresh. Next turn. Might be some rallies here with this many.
So, still not a win. We'll take the time to shift these over just in case we need them first. I suspect they're not going to get there in time to do anything notable. What would you expect to get in or be shot at anymore? Now I could charge in here, but I don't really believe in getting Richard killed, so we're not going to. Okay, so get in. Set up an auto drop on one of these anyway. Or not. Catch those handgunners out. Absolutely not. Okay. So we are going to fight on. Next turn. Rally down. Ouch. There go the guns. Get our order spearmen forward first.
Great. Okay, that was all the routine work uh, for the actual combats. Um, see how this goes. Good. Switch Richard over to the safe unit and hurl his mad arms into action. On low ammo, we can probably just ignore them. Right, is that victory? Let's see, standard, yeah, so it should be game. Alright, let's match. Uh, hmm, this seems pretty hard for the tutors, I think. I think Doily could have stretched out his line a bit more, or pulled back for time a bit more, but still, I mean, I don't know if the disheartened and minus a POA makes enough of a difference for this to be, I'm not going to say possible, but balanced for the tutors to play. But again, it's got to be difficult, so the whole, you know, they can't move, Stanley will pick whichever side is winning things. So if you do gain an early edge as tutor and just hold it for a bit, then, you know, maybe you won't end up with a hostile force behind you. So, uh, you know, the, these scenarios with all these special conditions can be very tough to build in a balanced manner. I would say that maybe the tutors need a little bit of help, though. So a good game to Doily. Till next time.